We got a snake. Snake? Where? Yeah, we got a snake. It's a mamba. We got a black mamba. Snake! Is it the mamba? Let me know as soon as you're comfortable. No, I'm not comfortable yet. I'm gonna move him up further. Yeah, and just, you wanna sec yeah, secure the tail there. There it is, the notorious black mamba. The most dangerous snake species I have ever physically interacted with. It is early morning, and it is very similar to the conditions we had the other day when we visited this mechanic's property and unfortunately came across a dead black mamba. We've gotten a call, he has seen another mamba. So we are in fast pursuit to get out to this property as fast as we can so that the snake doesn't either A, kill another dog or get killed itself. Black mambas get a bad reputation as a snake species that will actually chase after you. That is never going to be the case with any animal. They're always gonna choose flight before fight. But most importantly, we need to keep ourselves safe because a bite from one of these animals is a medical emergency. Nothing comes close to the black mamba just due to its size and just the immense speed of these snakes. So yeah, we're going to try to avoid as much as possible having this human mamba conflict, especially with the guys, dogs and cats. So we're going to try to get rid of this mamba and relocate it. So right now Tyrone is just flipping every piece of flat material that he can find anywhere this time of day that would be perfect for snakes to be hiding. Creepy abandoned building. Nest full of wasps. We're gonna keep moving. This is probably a needle in a haystack. Look at this. Especially a snake that's grayish, black in color. Talk about crazy camo. If there was a mamba in here, we'll get on in there. Let's find that snake. Well, we've been searching for about 25 minutes now. I've not seen any snakes. I've seen a lot of other things. And it's usually when you're looking for a snake that you don't find a snake. They always surprise you. Ooh, that is creepy. Oh, it's like a rodent super highway back there. I don't know if you can see that. We got a snake. A snake? Where? Yeah, we got a snake. Is it a mama? It's a mama. We got a black mama. He's just under this little piece of tile. Snake! Hey, there you snake. What? There you snake. Hey! You got a snake? Is it the mamba? I think it's the mamba, man. Really, really, really? Where? Oh, man, in here? You saw it? Yeah, he's under there. He's a, he looks like a pretty big mamba. It is a mamba. It's definitely a mamba. Shoot, I hope there's no hole back there. I don't see anything. Yes, I do. I see a snake. Definitely see a snake back there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Dude, I think it's a mamba. Inspiration, we coloration. All right, um, mamba madness at its finest right here. That's a mamba. That is definitely a mamba. Tyrone, what is the play? Cool, so we're gonna just move some of the stuff that's sitting on top here. I'm gonna get a tongue on the snake. We're gonna get sort of about 50, 60 centimeters behind the head. And then we're gonna try to get another tongue on the snake just to secure it so the snake start wriggling around, doesn't put any of us in danger. Okay. Yeah, so we're just gonna safely secure the snake and we're gonna go from there. We're just gonna have to be really agile. These snakes are really unpredictable, um, super defensive, so we just gotta be on high alert because this is top tier, the most dangerous snake in the country here. Okay, this is the worst case scenario because it's pinned into a corner. Yeah. The safest scenario for myself, the crew, and certainly the snake is gonna be to get it inside one of these tubes so we have control of the head. All right, I'm, I'm here on your command, so you let me know what you need me to do. Cool, so we're just gonna get on right to it. Now we're gonna move some of this Shrapnel out the way. Yeah, you can see the big coil of the snakes right coming out the back there. We've got a big, big mamba. Oh man, yeah. Cool, we're going in hot. You want to lift it? Lift yeah, it. Let's lift. Yeah, we got a black mamba. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm gonna grab it. Tongs on the snake. You can see he's puffing up his neck there slightly. It's a little narrow hood. One tongue is secure. We're gonna grab the secondary part of the snake here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cool, the snake is secure. I'm coming out in the open area here. Wow, that's, cool. that is a big snake. Okay, so you want me to get the tubes? Yeah, let's get the tubes, Cody. Okay, uh, what do you think, largest tube? Yeah, let's get with the largest tube. We're just gently restraining the snake. We don't wanna to put too much pressure on him. Get his head in there. Okay, he's going, he's going. Let him go, let him go a little bit more. I'm gonna, he's gonna reverse. 
Katie, do you want, do you want to grab it? Are you comfortable grabbing that? Just put him all the way up there. Let me know as okay. soon as you're comfortable. Yeah, I got well, no, I'm not comfortable yet. Yeah, I've still got the tongs on it. They're safe. And yeah, I, I want you to just put that back hand, so like completely holding the tube and that snake, so he's yep. not going to reverse, because he is going to pull back. He is going to pull back. OK. okay just, and you don't think he can get out from there? No, as long as you've got a good grip on him. Tell me when you're comfortable, I'm going to release the tongs. OK, go ahead and release the tongs. This is no rocky moment. OK, and I just, you remember, he, he, is, he may try reverse. So if he does, just hold him quite in place there. OK. You got him. OK. Can I work him up a little bit further? Yeah, you can work him up a little further. <sighs> good work. Oh, my hands are shaking at the moment. Wow, that is a very strong snake. Um, okay, we'll watch your face there, sorry. There we have it. That is a black mamba, safely tubed. Rather intense situation, but that went pretty smoothly. That's how we do it, we work safely. I catch my breath for a minute, my heart is racing. Okay, so the snake is staying pretty calm now. Um, let's go out of this enclosure and get ourselves in a spot that's a little more open. Uh, if for any reason I have to drop the snake and it comes out of the tube, we're in really close quarters. So uh, let's slowly move out. You guys move first. I'm going to take it really, really slow. I got a really good Good grip. Tyrone, you want to check my grip on the snake? You think that's Yeah, we're good there. And let's solid. just angle a little bit up, just in okay. case he shoots out. You got okay. it. Yeah, you got a good grip. Yeah, and just, you want to sec yeah, secure the tail there, you're good, code. Yeah. Man, this snake is insanely strong. Whoa! Man, it is intimidating to hold one of these snakes. Right now, just trying to calm my heart rate. There it is, the notorious black mamba. It's almost tough to put into words what it's like to hold on to a black mamba. This is a species that I have just read about for most of my life, always hoping that I would see one in the wild and not actually be hands-on with one, the most dangerous snake species I have ever physically interacted with. It is definitely a heart-racing encounter. Now, the black mamba, of course, gets its name from the black interior coloration of the mouth. And if I turn it like this and it opens up its mouth, we'll be able to get a really cool shot of that. The reason a bite from this snake is so potentially dangerous is because it is armed with a highly toxic, neurotoxic venom. If you're bitten by this snake, it begins to send your body into paralysis, which shuts down your major organs. So when your lungs, uh, your liver, your kidneys, and ultimately your heart begin to cease working, that's why a bite is so dangerous. Essentially, you just straight up go into paralysis and die. If you were ever bitten by a snake like this, it is an immediate medical emergency. The big issue that we're looking at here today is the human-wildlife conflict. And people are terrified of the black mamba. Obviously, it has a negative reputation, but this is not a snake that is interested in interacting with humans. A dog was bitten. Unfortunately, that dog passed away, and the snake was killed in the process. You have that constantly happening out here, especially in rural areas. But these snakes are not to blame. We are in an area that is perfectly set up for snakes to be hunting for their food. You've got abandoned structures, you've got bags of garbage that has everything that would draw in rodents. Where you have rodents, you're going to have the reptiles that eat them. So the more you can do in your own yard to clean up the trash and make sure that you're not drawing in the prey items for these snakes, the less of your chance of actually seeing one of these snakes and ultimately interacting with it. So the last aspect to today's snake rescue is to actually relocate this snake to a place that's far away from human habitation. That will give the better chances for this snake to live out the length of its life, and of course will keep the dogs and the humans in this area completely safe. Now, is this a resident mamba that we were told about? It's possible, it is pretty sizable, but when you live in an area like this, there's always going to be another snake. So you can see why the work that Tyrone does is so incredibly important here in South Africa. And a big thanks to him for taking us out on this rescue mission. I feel completely fulfilled in that we have finally found one of these snakes that we were able to rescue. It didn't lose its life. And uh, we're doing a good thing for the environment by getting this predator back out to where it belongs. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Okay, we found a pretty cool spot to release the mamba. We are way back off some dirt road and we have found a beautiful dry riverbed. It is just perfect mamba habitat. Grasses, trees, likely a lot of food. So uh, we're gonna get the snake out and this is another success story for Tyrone in successfully rescuing and relocating a venomous snake. Hey, Coyote Pack. 
If you're a fan of Brave Wilderness Adventures, then you'll really like all of the incredible t-shirts, hoodies, hats, and other merch at shopbravewilderness.com. Head over right now to gear up for your next adventure.